I can tell you there is not much love for the uh, Bondi Club otherwise. out here in Sydney's West. The crowd are here on mass. The Panthers are on a six game winning streak against the Roosters. But Trent Robinson's men have got to get going. Is tonight the night? Here's JWH to kick off Friday night footy. And already some solid impact in defence. And again, look at this. Numbers in the tackle for the Panthers. Driving aggressive defence. Here's Collins into Leota. They haven't even got to their 20 yet. Ball sent from Turpin to that butcher now. They are super quick off the defensive line and they're hitting with real steel. The ball goes to Crichton. The first mistake of the night. It's all down to defensive pressure. Yeah, absolutely. Defensive pressure. They, they sent a message off the first hit up of the game. They met Vic Jarrett front on and every tackle from there was huge impact and that time there Stephen Cri uh, Crichton Angus Crichton it was he just took the eyes off the football massive opportunity for the Panthers a minute 20 into the first half it wasn't a great reply for the Roosters they weren't going forward they didn't need to move the ball Cleary short pass already to Tyrone Peachy an early attacking chance for the home team, it goes through Kennedy Yo and now Leota lurking out a bit wider. Turpin into the starting team tonight. Crichton who made the mistake there in defence. Ball sent Yo in through the line and then Cleary and Sorensen. Closing in, nine metres short. Kenny with a scurry and Yo feeds it out to Nathan Cleary and there's a try saving tackle by Cleary. Around the legs of Hosky. Luai dumps it back for Sorensen. Didn't quite go to plan that set play. Eight metres out when he played it. A delicate kick by Cleary. He gets whacked by Maria Hargreaves and Smith takes the catch in the in goal. What's here? What's the referee, Jared Sutton, saying here? He's having a discussion with about six of the Roosters players. Yeah. Well, I think Tedesco, he, he was thinking maybe challenged. 20 guys, 20. Well, it was touched. There you go. No, he caught it in goal. He didn't quite get the, the distance right. He was looking for Stephen Crichton. And you were talking about Billy Smith being 6'5". <laughs> kicked it at Billy Smith. <laughs> we need to find another target. Maybe Luke Keary. He was right next to him. This defence is brutal. You can hear the contact there. Big shot on Crichton. Crichton v Crichton on that side of the ground. Now Maria Hargreaves. 31 minutes he played last week. 55 metres only. That is not normal for him. Back out to Angus Crichton again. And his namesake. One half of the tackle. Nathan Cleary the other. Down the short side they travel. And Billy Smith. He's knocked over by Brian Tott who comes in off the wing. Cleary. Here's Dylan Edwards' first assignment of the evening. They all fly. It's been tapped back off the Roosters. Oh, six more. There was a Panther hand. Oh, Tedesco didn't hear the call. But the ball's come out. It's ping-ponging everywhere. Penrith has got it back. What a mess. That's harsh. That's harsh. Poor old Teddy didn't hear the six again call. Somehow found the right boot. And I didn't know what happened in the tackle, but the ball popped out and they come up with the ball to Panthers. That was a better set of six from the Roosters. Awesome physicality from the Roosters here as well on Edwards. Most runs in the season, most metres in the league. Second most tackle breaks in the comp, Dylan Edwards. Equal fifth in the Dally M heading into this round of action. The Clive Churchill medal winner from last year. And Cleary kicking from very deep. There's the booze. Bounces away and over the touch line. Play the ball. Well, that was a great defensive set by the Roosters. Play the ball, middle. And they held the Panthers the there to boys. minimal yardage. There, it's going to have to be their game tonight to build it off that physical defensive efforts, making Cleary kick deep from his own half, keeping the Panthers away from their trial line. 
when Trent Robertson was talking about his attack before the game, he said the thing we've got to get right is our defence. It was all right in that set. Hargreaves struggling and straining. The two uh, Kiwi front rowers up against each other, Fisher Harris and Maria Hargreaves. That's quite the battle in the middle of the field. So after a, a, a bash up in the first couple of sets, the Roosters have found their mojo here and they're down inside Penrith territory. Angus Crichton wrapped up, quick play the ball, Turpin. Oh, he rushes it back. That, that was not part of it. That was they not on the tip sheet during the week. <laughs> the big front rower. They got themselves in good position but couldn't finish it off. Well, speaking of uh, being able to hear things, I wonder if JT can hear himself think he's sidelined for us tonight. What a great atmosphere, JT. Yeah, it certainly is. And the crowd just went wild there with that penalty. It's actually not bad conditions down here. 13 degrees, feels like 11. A lesser man would be cold, but I'm doing all right. <laughs> oh, mate, we're six minutes in. See, see you Hold. in the second half. Hold. About 8.30, JT. Just kicks in, mate. A little breeze comes off the mountain. About 8.30. Up square. Hold. Twenty-nine wins in their past thirty-two games at home for this Penrith outfit. That is quite the record. Going back to 2019. They can't put Fisher Harris on the ground, so he plays it to Kenny. And there we go. And now clear here. Hosking back on an angle. Gee, he's been good, hasn't he, since coming in for Penrith? Drag down by Maria Hargreaves, it comes to Luai, and then Sorensen, and then Cleary, a left foot kick over the top, Manu fields it. Good uh, scurry there by the Roosters, 5'8", playing his fourth game in that role in succession, and he's there to uh, avert a potential crisis. Well, we've just got a Roosters player down, Tackle but two. Jackson Paul, right? Jackson Bowl. Holly's leg. But that was a huge play by Joey Manu. He actually was in field. He made the tackle early and then he raced back out to that position. As we look at the tackle and what went wrong here, just, whoa, he's oh. gone down awkwardly. Awkwardly with the left leg. It's been a big change in the Penrith attack, bringing people back under. Even moving the ball wide to bring people back under. Seems to get Moody's and Hoskins went through, but they're just missing that punch. That kick out, chorus out. Someone who can just... Turn that that punch, that quick play the ball into a try. Let up here, James. Make it. Go for. Playing straight out to Angus Crichton. Now eager butcher, of course. For the Roosters tonight, his brother Nat though on the right hand side. And Cleary got a good whack on that, but Edwards perfectly poised. Billy Smith leading the kick chase and Turpin in 18, his top lock. 49 NRL tries for the New South Wales Origin star. When they get to the half century tonight. Now to Ruba. Penalty. Two metres, Nut. Nut. Yeah, testing period here for the Roosters. Stay behind. They've hung in it quite well in the first eight minutes. Just cannot afford to. Continue to invite the Penrith Panthers down your own end, though. That at some stage they'll find that space that Freddie was talking about. At some stage, someone will take their opportunity and turn it into points. It's Leota. The Rebels in the big occasion, Moses Leota. Now Hosky, who's played every game since coming into the team in round four. A very valuable pickup in the off-season. Go working with Cleary and Sorensen back on an inside angle. And then he got to Kenny and then Edwards and back to Hosking. Hosking looked dangerous here. Back to the middle of the field. Tackled by Maria Hargreaves. It's an inside ball to James Fisher. Harrison. Oh, and a ball to Sorensen. 
This the two big fellas linking up for the first try. This is a lovely set play. We never look at the high shot. Just watch where Jerome Luo is standing when the ball's being played. He is in Nathan Cleary's pocket. Have a look at him. Just stand there getting all the attention. And James Fisher Harris, the big front row on the Harvey Norman replay, not only breaks the line, but finds a little right arm offload. And Sorensen scores the first of the night. And that's exactly the space they've been looking for, the Penrith Panthers. They've been peppering the middle forwards of the Roosters in the opening 10 minutes. Drop-off plays, players changing angles, making the ruck boards, make multiple tackles. And in that time, that instance, it was Jared Weir, Hargraves. He was at marker. He made a couple of tackles in a row. And he just couldn't fill that space where James Fisher-Harris went through and gave away a lovely right-handed pass to Sorensen. That's years of practice, isn't it? Developing combinations. Look at that. Look at Jerome Luai just setting up out the left-hand side. They've been going through the inside by turning players underneath. So the Roosters' defence didn't see anyone being turned under, so they just slackened off that couple of centimetres. And the tempo that Nathan Cleary played in too, he looked out, looked out, he knew that inside runner was coming. Waited for that space and for the perfect time to give the ball off. Great play. Yep. Wait for the clock, mate. Still got five seconds. There's plenty run here. Well, it wasn't that delightful to watch. A couple of Kiwi test stars combining for Penrith's opening try. 6 0. Leota oh. throws himself at the defence. He wouldn't stop if he hit him with a crowbar. Now, Fisher Harris. Sorensen, gee, there's some physicality about this. And Yo. No subtle ball playing there. He takes a bruise for his team as they head now to Jerome Luai. This uh, percentage of, of wins here in Nathan Cleary, it's plummeted this season. It's gone from 93 to 89%. I'll tell you what. He's got a really nice play of the ball for his halfback. Come off the left foot, got a quick play of the ball. Nathan Cleary, no stress. 50 metres down the field. You believe that record? They win 89% of games as a combination. Incredible. Incredible. And, that, that, and before the season started, it was up in the 90s, but a couple of dropped games this year. It's, it's really impressive. Oh, Radley hit hard. Yeah, even more if you went back. They played juniors together. Yeah. They won, you know, a jersey flick competition. They just never lost. Now, Radley thinks there was a high impact there. He wasn't happy, was he, Victor? Not much the other way around. Here he. has been a real habit of players just actually sitting on the ground and you know, just really demanding that the video ref come into play. This is not his style, Victor. And now Sunya Taruba. Fijian international star. And now top ball. 247 running metres against the Warriors last week. The back three were remarkable. For the Panthers in that win over the Warriors, which the Panthers set after the game. That's the toughest game they've played all year. It was elite quality. It's clear he kicks over the top. It's only tackled four. He plugs it into a corner, takes a, a hop over the touchline. Play the ball, boys. He looked a little bit disappointed the there, Nathan. I think he was looking a lot the ball further there. upfield towards James, that corner that post. Last, Found a little, little bit of space in behind Paulo, but yeah, I think he was aiming a little bit more directly at that corner post. I've got to say, Brad, I'm relieved to see a sensible haircut. Nathan's gone to the barber, it's the old short back and sides. 
Well, the 2003 team are here <laughs> in recognition of the simple haircut. There's a bit of grey in that 2003 lineup, I've got to tell you. Great to uh, hear from. Oh, uh, a knock on by Maria Hargreaves. Yeah, Kenny tries to play on. Yeah, it was great to hear from Craig Gow, the captain, who whose name is uh, adorning the Eastern Grandstand here. Shot clock on. And Luke Prittis, the Clive Churchill medal winner, is actually the first Penrith player to win the Clive Churchill medal, Brad, because you remember back in 1991. Bradley Clyde. In a losing team. What a player Bradley Clyde was. The thing Roy Simmons scored two tries. Oh. Did you ever score two tries, Kate? Oh, I did. Did you? Yeah, I think I scored one double. My 48 tries. <laughs> did you really score 48 tries? Wait about 8,000 games. <laughs> I think I've got 49. Straight away, Victor. So, Fisher Harris sets up 10 metres out. Oh. Nathan said, well, I didn't want it then. I didn't want, didn't want you to throw it straight behind. And Leota put the ground just outside the Roosters' team. Yo with a pass to Fisher Harris again, who's beating everything through the first 15 minutes of this game. Set up the first try. Yo, Leary plays short. Sorensen for a second. He's narrowly pulled down. Kenny fires it for Cleary, you'll want Crichton to leap above them. Hosking gets up there instead, throws it out the back, and Angus Crichton's there to clean up. Well, they did well there, the Roosters. They stayed patient. Kick didn't quite find the mark. Cleary wanted that up close to the try line. They just stayed patient, allowed the ball to find Angus Crichton's hands. Let's see what punishment gets dealt here. Oh, penalty. Offside. Easy, easy. And Joseph Suwali'i, who yeah. uh, himself had a, a quiet game last week, as we see JWH coming from the field after 16 minutes. Uh, Joseph Suwali'i last week ran for 33 metres. Incredible. Well, Matthew Lodge taking JWH's position. Here he is running the ball now. He should grow up out in the Penrith area. There's a bustling first run. Danica, some news? Yes, as you see, Jared Weir Hargraves coming off the field. We are hearing that it could be a peck injury, and that's the reason that he has come from the field. Uh, he seems to be about to walk straight up the tunnel, so it certainly does look like he's injured, and uh, we'll go find out exactly what has happened and whether he'll be back on the field tonight. Yeah, thanks, Danica. Swali wrapped up by Taruba, but he's able to promote the pass to Manu. He tries to put some footwork on Fisher Harris, but Leota came to help out with the tackle. Here's the Roosters' best chance for points so far. Lodge turns and offloads. It gets to Crichton. Oh, Smith dropped it. There was a two on one there as well. Oh, silly Billy. It was great hands by Tedesco with the bat on, but the Roosters at the moment, they're, they're their own worst enemy with the football. Oh. Well, that was off that, that big hit off the kickoff. Wow. Leave oh, yeah. that to the big boys. But they just. Moses Leota. Wow. The Roosters are just crueling themselves with the football at the moment. So many simple turnovers. And Leota's philosophy is you can tackle me, but I'm going to really hurt you if I can. <laughs> Moses is one of those players that, you know, he was on the bench three and four years ago. Spent a couple of years there. A lot of players end up staying on the bench and sort of go backwards. Moses just got better and better and better plays. Big minutes and big games. Comes up with pressure plays. So he's been one of their big improvers, the Panthers. So only 6-0. Ferocious start to this match. Edwards tries to graft his way through to the defence. He's tackled on the halfway. Cleary picks it up high in the sky. Corey Allen is there to retrieve it. One of only six roosters to have tasted victory 
on this ground. Quite amazingly, James Tedesco's never won a game out here. The only regular ground he's never won on. Well, the Roosters haven't won at this ground, Tomo, since 2017, so it's a bit of a dry spell. Turpin right to Manu, he brings Tedesco around the back. Plenty of bodies there to guard him. Swali here back to Piri. Just don't have their timing right, the Roosters. The last time they went to the left, there was a nice bat on from Tedesco and they dropped the ball. This time they come around again and someone overrun the ball. He's got to keep trying, keep trying, keep concentrating. Six tries in the season so far for this man, Stephen Crichton. He was outstanding against the Warriors. Just so defensively last week. Put a couple of big shots on. Here's the peach. He's as popular as ever out here. Titans, Titans. And back to Penrith for Tyrone Peachy. He's got an important job as well with Isaac Tung or sideline for quite a while. Now Tarub is chasing it through here at speed. Got the little bump by Swaliki. Ball taken by Jackson Holor. Oh, there's a tackle. Kenny saw Swaliki coming and he raced out to put a shot on. And more punishing defence. Oh, this is where they're at their best. They Hem teams down into a corner and they race off the line. Lodge plays it on the 30. And now Tedesco. Played like an extra forward last week in the wet. 236 metres for him. One of his best returns of the year to date. And Kiri ends the set with a good kick. A long one and into some space. And top off. Sizes up the kick chase. He arrives at Billy Smith and he's put down outside his 20. Yeah, they just need to stick at their guns here, the Roosters. Keep completing their sets. They've got to try and wear this Panthers team down. It's not an easy thing to do, particularly at home. They're yet to make a mistake, the Panthers. Panthers. Running down by six points. They're well and truly in this game. There's Lindsay Smith. There's the run of a fresh man. Cleary thought about a kick and then he goes to Hosky, who was quite deep there. Yeah, he had Teddy Boot on that, on that shot. The Running. ball, Sorensen! Sorensen gets through! Over the top to Peachy! The Peach throws a dummy! Tyrone Peachy gets hit around oh, the corner! Oh. And there's another one! Edwards with the try to cap off some dazzling oh. party! How many players could say... They had a try assist with their pants down. <laughs> Tyrone Peachy, you are all class, brother. And did it easy too. Harvey Norman replay. Luai, he's seen the numbers on the outside. He chose to run Jackson Follow. He was deep looking for the kick on the last. And Tyrone Peachy, easy as you like. Took on Tedesco, back on the inside. He still hasn't pulled his pants up. Here's the brave oh, play here, Sorensen. There's the last tackle. A lot of players had panicked there and would have got rid of the ball. But he broke the tackle of Sue Willi. And ended up offloading once he broke the tackle. That's a, it's a tough play, though, when you give it to someone who's not used to it, JT. Yeah, I want to talk about Jerome Roy's vision. Fifth tackle, he shapes a kick. He sees Lindsay Collins defending at three and guns straight at him. As we can see here, shapes the kick. Lindsay Collins, the 10 there, and he comes and bites. On a fifth tackle, you don't want to be doing that. So, great work by Jerome Luai. Yeah, that's great awareness, as JT mentioned. They had Joey Manu, who usually defends in that three-man position. He was at market from the previous play. Jerome Luai, he looked up, he had two ruck players in front of him. Victor Radley and Lindsay Collins, and he just said, let's go, boys, we're on here. That's as good a footy as you'll see, Tomo. Oh, great vision. And look, there's still so much room for improvement in this Panthers attack. You've seen a few times tonight, it's it's not gone to script. It's been a bit clunky, but they've made a, a couple of wonderful set pieces stick. And clearing from in front makes it 12 0. <laughs> A 
2023 for Dylan Edwards. <laughs> That's a concerned look. Here he comes again. Boom. Oh. Oh. Interesting to see how long Lindsay Collins goes for out here tonight, too, with Maria Hargreaves. Up in the shed, suspected peck injury if we've just tuned in. And given the Roosters a lack of go forward in inverted commas this year, second, second last in the comp for, uh, for running metres coming in here tonight, that's a big problem for them. But the big dog in the, uh, in the kennel. Yeah, it may mean that Brandon Smith will come on and play in the ruck now, and Jake Turpin plays longer minutes. And a dummy half, he may have to play out the game. Well, Perry looks up and likes what he saw too. It's only tackle four, so he goes through their hands and it ends up with Sorensen again. Cleary repositions himself and boom. A Cleary cliffhanger. Crichton trying to come through, well taken at the back. That was Corey Allen. And now Billy Smith. Taken by Lindsay Smith around the legs. And Yo up top. Oh, juggle. They're not making it easy for themselves. Uh, the Summit. Sunday, 7 o'clock. Talk about gripping television. I had a look at the trailer during the week. This is, this is a show not to be missed. Edge of your seat and stuff. Tune in, and you'll uh, be a regular with the summit, I can assure you. Yeah, Nathan Cleary, bit of kick pressure. Just got the touch of the hand. It's... Sometimes that can go wrong. It allows Dylan Edwards to come forward to make the to make the catch, and on tackle two, they're 50 metres out. This is a good position. Finish with an attacking kick. Run by Tarub. Punches through the defence. Some uh, good close contact measures. They're trying to get Leota out wide on Keary, aren't they? Straight and very, very hard. Another run by Leota. Cleary playing short to Smith now. And they're up to the 20. There's the Westpac red zone. It's all Panther. This is Cleary again. Dishes it for Sorensen. He got it back to Luai. This is dangerous. Luai with a left foot step. Luai steps again. Luai trying to pull through the line. They just wrap him up. Hand over. Easy there, Jerome. Just let it go. Well, they've just Wait. been relentless, pretty, haven't they? With their ball carrying, they're just at the roosters. Every opportunity across the advantage line fast. There's no time for their defence to get up and move forward, so they're making metres every ruck. Well, the Cowboys last week said, well, the roosters come in and punch in the face. If you can stand there at the end of it, you're a chance of burning them. I think the Penrith is still standing, and... They're 12 points ahead at the moment. So Brandon Smith. Oh, he's got on a dummy. And there's Liam Martin's Martin. first involvement oh, back from injury. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing's changed, I see. Oh. Ball out the back to Keary and Smith. Good hands. Allen now down the touchline. Tedesco's there if he wants him. He gets to Allen. What a tackle from behind. It's oh. Isaiah Yo. Danger not over though, Manu kicks out wide, it'll bounce, it's over the sideline. Well, Isaiah Yo in the Penrith number 13 the has done a Scott Play Sapper. Yeah, he's seen him in the pre-game, didn't right. he come out? Front foot. I'm sure foot. Scotty Sattler, he'd be standing oh. and applauding that effort. Oh. What a chase it was. Here's the hit from Liam Martin, bang! Oh. Oh, get that into your lodgy. Yeah, it was a nice sign by the Roosters too. Come over with a couple of nice tackles, the Panthers, and they moved the ball, found some space. We could have done better at the end of the set there, but 
It's still a nice sign to get down that left hand, that left hand corridor. Well, they've, they've had a couple of opportunities down there earlier in the first half, didn't they, Freddie? Probably a, a place to go back to. Larry from his own 30. Tackle three kick. And down come the black jumpers and Jackson Polor. Tries in 2023 runs it back to tackle 23 up on his own line. Now Swali. So Martin looks like he's playing in the middle here. That was flagged by Ivan Cleary pre-game. Just his fourth appearance of the season. And he chases hard there for Marker and dragged Brandon Smith down, but the offload found from Joey Manu. Now Radley. Oscar and Smith. The defenders. Cleary to Crichton. A bit of space. Once again, down the left-hand side. That's Cleary and Crichton. And again, they go short side. That left. How do you get that away? That's an unbelievable ball. And now it's a scrap for it. And they've got six more tackles. A bit of desperation from Brendan Smith. Here's Satili Tupanua. Genuine scoring chance now for the Roosters. Lodge. Cut down. Great tackle again. It's Yo down the bottom. Smith, Keary, and Manu. Manu against Peachy. Tried to defend him away, but he's stuck on. That's four plays used. Tupanua. Runs towards the post. Last tackle. They play it. Centre of the ground. Smith sends it left to Lodge, who links it with Keary. Taps it out wide. Balls on the ground. It was picked up by Allen, who went to Smith and then went back to Allen. Now it's Tedesco. Anything doing here? Backhand flick on the ground. Oh, that is a, a dismal end of the series. Well, they lost 15 metres on that last play there. It looked a little bit dangerous. Nathan Cleary come running out of the line and the pass went across him and beat him. A bit of space on the outside for the Roosters, but yeah, they just couldn't find the right play on the end of it. Danica, what do you got for us? Just an update on Jadri Hargraves. I've just spoken to the Roosters staff and they have confirmed it is a pec strain, but they are saying they're going to make a call at halftime as to whether he will be able to come back into the action tonight. So we'll have uh, a little bit more of an idea at halftime when they make their final decision. Okay, well, I'm, I'm glad it's a strain and not the dreaded rupture. Thanks, Danica. for Sorensen. Tackle made by Butcher. Really got underneath that one. Allen stationed under it. Look at this. They might pick him up and drag him over on the trotting track. Meter out from the line. Zach Hosking has come off. Jamin Salmon. He's gone over the right back row. See, Liam Martin's got his left leg heavily strapped up there. Late rounds at one and two, then didn't come back till round seven, and then has been out until tonight. So that that's a worrying lingering hamstring injury for him as Keary's rushed into a kick. It's a shallowish one. And Edwards runs back to be tackled 13 metres out. Danica, more news. Yes, Zach Hosking has just come from the field for the Penrith Panthers. Uh, he's gone off for a head injury assessment. It is classified, though, as showing Category 3 symptoms, so it is on the lower end of the scale, so he'll go through the assessments over the next 15 minutes. Thanks, Danica. There's a river in the middle of the field. Played it on the, the Roosters 30. Yo and clear in seven. Oh, had his ankles oh, tapped. Brandon Smith. But he got up and went again. Oh. 
there. He gets it to Luai. Goes to Sorensen. Back around the corner. Luai now against uh, Tupanua. Floats a pass up. I think it was forward. Yeah. Hand the over here, guys. From the touch, Judge. Hand over. So moving that way. Well, yeah, this passage that. of play, it's, it's, we've been rolling now for quite some time. There hasn't been a lot of stoppages. So in, interesting to see what team cracks first now. Roosters, ball in hand. They just need to get to their kick. You just look at the body language of the Roosters. They're, we get a high shot. They're all behind the play of the ball. Jackson Polo, he's just moving out now. But not many people to throw the ball to. Great, nice ball. Swaliti. On the opposite side of the ground to where he started. Here he lodged. 54% of the ball of the Roosters. That's, that's surprising. Well, not a lot of it's been good ball, though. Hands. How does that for a confident retriever? He didn't break stride there. now just on that 2003 team too that has been uh, celebrated tonight just talking with david middleton before so in 2001 they were last in 2002 they were 12th in 2003 they won the grand final quite a rise for that that peter of the outfit that era as Cleary dinks it through. Luai's racing after it. Yeah, he's always the best chaser. It's one of the best things about this combination. If you ever see one of them kick, the other one's the first down there chasing. They've just got this uncanny instinct where they want to get the ball to. And then it's just effort. No thought involved. They're mixing up their last plays. They look around the ball a lot on their last play. They've got a try on the last play. Puts the defence in a lot of minds. Martin now. What a five minutes of the half. It's been such entertaining footy. Awful physical. The Panthers with two tries to nothing. Can they make it a third with the half-time break not too far away? Mark. Stopped by Tupanura and Radley. Edwards brings Stephen Crichton in the knee. He put a fend on Tupanura and nearly held him off long enough there. Butcher comes in to wrap up, wrap up the tackle. It's the fourth. Here in Lua. Sorensen, what a pass! What a beautiful bit of play! That it was, Tomo. Lovely play, well timed run by the Panthers. A lovely hole by that man. He ran through Harvey Norman replay. Nice pass from Dummy Half. Great timing by all the players. Clinical as you get in rugby league. It actually looked like a training run in the end. Just look at this lovely interchange of passes. Lovely pass from dummy half. Bang, bang on the chest. And what they did have, they, they had the chooks outnumbered. Their four man, he was well inside the outside post. That's where your four defender, he wants to place himself on the try line. And the Roosters players, they were just, they were all worried about the men out the back. and. They forgot to take that front runner. Well, he might have been quiet at times so far this year, Jerome Lua, but he's burst to life tonight. Yep. It's 18 nil.
Peter Sorensen. Uh, first career double for the New Zealand back rower. 18 nothing. Barton was asking where Moses Leota was in. <laughs> you stand back there, Liam. Where'd Moses go? Moses? Moses? Get me, Moses? Back, out. Get me back out to the back row, for goodness sakes. When's he not? Here's what happens when your discipline's good. They've given up one penalty and two errors. Both errors are on the last tackle down on their try line, basically. It's nearly a perfect oh, cover. Here he is again. Here's Luai again. Straight through them. Luai to Peachy. It's a Panther Avalanche. 24 blocked. They lost to the West Tigers two weeks ago. With all due respect to the Tigers, the Tigers have won their last two. Different conditions. Don't look at me like that. I'm not bagging the Tigers. We love the Tiger. Here's another break. There'll be a standing ovation here from the home crowd. The Panthers have put together their best 40 minutes of the season in front of a near-packed house at Bluebeck Stadium. And the Roosters are rattled, to say the very least, 24 nil. And uh, on a night of celebration, marking 20 years since the club's second title is... Stay behind it. 2003. Kick. The Panthers of the current era are doing it very well. The return of this man is a big bonus for them as well. Liam Martin came off the bench tonight. Here's Lindsay Smith. Sorensen plays it. Spectacular in the first half. And now Ed Woods, whose influence has been, uh, I'd say, minimal by his standards tonight, but I haven't really needed him, to be honest. Here's Cleary. He kicks long, and it's taken comfortably by Corey Allen. He's only made 140 metres, Matt. First oh, half, yeah. Just 140. Ooh. Early, guys. This is one part of their game. Okay. Which I'm really in control of was their discipline. They only gave Maybe away I'm... one penalty in the first half. They've now give away oh, one in the first Jamie. minute. Hold. It's one way to let the Roosters back into the game. Oh, Lodge. Passes out the back row. There you go. There's an error 
going the opposite way and Brighton up over the halfway. And now Logic, he's into Martin and then Isaiah Yo is, uh, is shaping up to Matt Lodge. Isaiah Yo doesn't get involved in that sort of stuff. <laughs> Not sure about Lee Martin. Have we got that on tape? Yes, we do. out. Go to Cleary and Edwards with a right foot step wants to offload when he roosters around him and they've, they've halted his progress a couple of metres out from the line. Sam not ball from Dunny Half and Cleary for Luai shows it once goes back to Peachy Ten metres out, Tupanua the tackler. Yo into the line, takes on the defence himself. Yo, can he stretch out? He's a metre, less than a metre short, really. Kenny, great hands, Cleary. How good was that from Cleary? And then uh, Edwards got it back to Crichton. They stick a hand out and bounce back for the Panthers. And Nathan Cleary's got it and seven dashes for the line. That catch and pass by Nathan Cleary off the grass was something special. Is there a fifth try just on the horizon here? Castillo. It goes now for Luai. He's been dazzling with his footwork tonight. Angus Crichton, the tackler. Move to the side. You move into the side. You're held here. And you try to move to the side and then play it. Let's go! Come on! Well, that was a shot clock on. Yeah, just in the background watching the, the skipper. Oh, here's the hit earlier. Salmon and Lodge where he lost the ball and a little bit agitated. Not happy with the Liam Martin. Look at this pass, Freddie. Oh, checks the ball off his toes. <laughs> plays in motion. The ball hits the ground and the man who's on the ball is Nathan Cleary. Uh, they're just going to find something here, the Roosters. They're going to find some energy just on the end of that that play. You've seen their captain, James Tedesco, he's trying to rally the troops, asking the boys to lift. Marcus. The second penalty of the half. Like Danica, it. it's been a busy game news-wise. What do you got? It has been unfortunate news, though, for the Roosters. Jared Rear Hargraves that will not be back at all tonight, succumbing to that pec strain injury. And just an interesting point as well, uh, unfolded at half-time, Roosters coach Trent Robinson asked all of his support staff to leave the dressing rooms. So it was just himself in there, the assistant coaches and the players, as he had some stern words to say to them. So we'll see what kind of response he gets in this second half. Well, OK, thanks, Danica. It's a most dissatisfied look on the face of the usually cool Trent Robinson. Almanu up against Peachy and Luai and Taruba and Sorensen. They come at him in numbers and dump him into the ground. Cleary and Radley and Satili Tupanua. Tackled by Martin. 18 metres from the Panthers line. Can they strike a blow here? At least have something to move forward with the Roosters. They haven't looked likely at all in this game. All good. Kicked by Cleary. Smith the target. It's a scrap ball's on the ground. It's been grounded by the Panthers. And Cleary's there again. Billy. Knock on. It'd be pretty awesome Challenge. if you actually had a camera and watched the whole set of six from above. Okay. Ash. Just to watch how Roosters are fast the Roosters' defence moves, how Smith. hard they work for each other. So the initial call was a knock-on by the Roosters, which has been challenged. Roosters kick chases onside. Just need to see whose hand touches this first. Comes off Billy Smith's hand forward. The challenge is unsuccessful. 
second marker, Luke. Yeah, I was just talking about the Panthers' right, Nathan, defense. Front foot, front foot. There was a situation, Jamin Salmon just reeled out of a tackle and had to get back on side. Just watching how fast they move. Oh, that... oh, what about that? It's Billy. Oh, shot clock on. Down the middle. Billy goes boom. Sorry. The same two players, Scum Brian Tyo, Billy Smith. Oh, well, he dropped it before he got there. <laughs> he was worried about what was coming. Well, he's coming back at the ruck. Well, the ball's coming straight across, and he's running back towards the ball. It's it's quite a tough catch. So we've got to run with the ball. Go, and use the footwork in. to straighten up. Head in, Dylan. Shot clock off. It's me telling a winger Break. how to bring the ball out of trouble. <laughs> oh, Smith. oh, he's lost it now. It's Sorensen. Oh, no. With a great front on tackle. Shot clock on. Yeah, they're just in a bit of a hole at the moment, the Roosters. As we see this pass, well, he's put under an enormous amount of pressure there. Billy Smith, but just nothing going right for them at the moment. The Roosters, there's certainly plenty of effort involved. But the passes, they're not sticking. The plays aren't working. They've just got to keep persevering, stay patient. Oh, Lodge raced out and tried to whack Salmon. And he wiggled away from him. Plays it uh, on the 20 metre line. Top on that for a second carry within three plays. Here's Sam Walker. Keep it warm. Mark, there's the run. Rich Kenny, Isaiah Yo. Blue eye for Sorensen now. And they run their way out of strike. To the halfway line. Try to hold Corey Allen off the ground and drag him back towards the touchline. But he's tackled 10 metres in from the western side of the ground. Here's Billy Smith. He's had a mixed night. Now two. Oh. Was Lindsay Smith spearing in at the legs and Martin there as well. Now Manu. Almost gallops into a bit of clear territory. Dragged down by his opposite number six now. Here's Lodge. Flops a pass away to Benilla there on the backup. Last tackle, Lindsay. Ten metres down the side of the halfway. No pressure on Edwards. Square. Oh, man. Go one. Top off. strongly by Corey hell, Allen. Hell. So, a reminder too, the Roosters didn't score a try for the last minute last week. And they've got nearly 50 minutes without scoring here. Yeah, could be disappointed last week against the Cowboys. He's a different outfit this week, the Panthers defence. There's an offload. Last tackle, last He's playing with such belief now. Jackson Polo. Smith leading the kick chase. Fisher Harris back on the ground. Liam Martin's come for a break. He is returned from injury. That was the big round of applause from the Panther faithful. Australia's greatest rivalry, State of Origin, is back for 2023. It's only a couple of weeks away now. Don't miss game one uh, of the men at the Adelaide Oval, May 31. And uh, game one of the women's at Combank Stadium the very next night, Thursday, June 1. NRL.com slash tickets. Oh, uh, an errant offload and clear his desperation to get the ball back was very obvious, he went sprinting and 
took a diving catch as well. Oh, Lodge. Just forcing the issue a little bit. again. And Yo with another buckish run. It's up within 12 of the line. Kenny, Patricia Harris, short pass, Salmon. Can't split the gap there between defenders. Kiri stood up to him and help coming from Crichton. Yo, Nathan Cleary, Jerome Luai, falls on the ground. Scooped up by the Panthers, Luai got back there to get it back. Oh, Peachy with an offload. And Luai dancing with them. Got it to Kenny. Then to Lindsay Smith. Only tackle four. Jerome Luai. Short pass. Sorensen looking for a third. Can't get it. Luai. Offers it to Kenny, and he's wrapped up. Oh, no, can he get it away? He wanted to. Butcher dragged him down in the end. Last tackle. Razzle, dazzle from the Panthers. Cleary dinks it through to the end goal. He's oh, gee, that's as good, isn't it? He can see that the field to field cage is close to empty, and so he turns the screws. Yeah, that's class. It's just time and awareness. Just watch him here, just sums it up. Not a whole lot of pressure on Nathan Cleary. He just cannot afford to allow a, a classy player as him to dictate terms, short dropout. Now oh, they got it back. And top off. Oh. It'll be interesting this set of six. They fluffed around that left hand side with about three or four tackles. They didn't come up with much. In the West Pack red zone, 26 times the Panthers have had opportunities at the line. Cleary, Luai, caught it and uh, changed direction at the same time. It is a play on because it came off a wrist his hand and it'll be a goal line oh, dropout. Shot clock on. You can see him drifting ready. away there as the ball was arriving, oh, Jerome Luai. You can also see Nathan Probably Cleary has a bit more purpose in those couple of tackles. He's taking a bit more control now. Oh, <laughs> 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 is that a volleyball stop? Yeah. Sonny Luke's on the field. Fisher Harris, he beat Joey Manu and gets up to the 20. <laughs> Kenny moves into that middle forward role now. Luke doing the dummy half work, Yo doing his usual thing, and Salmon. Oh, they still have stopped him. Crichton and Lodge eventually bring him down a metre short of the Roosters' line. They've had all the ball after half-time. Yo! Towards the posts. Butcher finishes the tackle. Sonny Luke. And a pass now uh, back out to Jamin Salmon from Dylan Edwards. They get to tackle five. Is there more pain coming? A kick there by Luke. It bounces off a foot and bounces up for the Roosters. Butcher gets it back. Big shot again. Kenny on Corey Allen. This is Tilly Tupanua. Look at this! It's Kenny. incredible defense. Oh, and another big tackle. That's Joseph Manu in the background. He's clutched. He was clutching at a lower leg. Tackle four. Merciless attack. Merciless attack by the Panthers' defence, if you know what I mean. They are going after them. Now, Manu, oh. Right ankle. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Ooh. All right, the medical staff are heading out to look at Joey Manu. It is 24 nil.
A dirty night for the Roosters, it's just got worse. 24 nil. Maria Hargreaves has got a strained pectoral muscle and Joey Manu's who's done his ankle. They've been brutal all night, the Panthers' defence. Fast moving, aggressive. And Joey Manu. Angle just gives way to the pressure of the defence. That's good signs there. It seems like he's walking quite freely. Watch again. Big impact and another offload. Doesn't yield too much territory, however. So it's the last tackle. I don't know if they lost, might have lost track of the tackle count. Good kick by Kiri under quite a bit of pressure. Here's Taruba. He looks fresh as a daisy, Sunya Taruba. There's some Roosters players out there that are dragging their shorts all on the ground, and he's just skipping back at them. The entire Panther team's behind the play of the ball. Tackle two. That's a big effort. There's the meters gain tonight. Tomo, Dylan Edwards, 182. He's at quite the right one. <laughs> and Sorensen, he's not far behind 150. Isaiah Yo, just big Don't meters. Him over. Hold. What, a ball. what, uh, what do you make of what Danica told us that Trent Robinson sent everyone out of the dressing room at halftime? Uh, 24 nil. After being criticised all week. He was talking about before the game, the defence is a big part. If you want to improve your attack, well, they lost it on, on both sides of the game. Yeah, and I think maybe too, he just, he's probably just trying to minimise the input to all the players at half time. Of course, the assistant coaches, and they like to get in there and have their little say on their little units and areas of the game. But I, I think it just, he, he thought it would have been best just the one voice. Now they spit it out wide. Satili to Manila. Oh, oh, here goes Tom Lock. Like a javelin. Is that illegal? <laughs> oh, and there's another big shot. That's Kiri on the receiving end of Stephen Crichton's tackle. Tedesco. What can he do? Not much there. Charge down. And Salmon, oh, he, he did well to get to the ball, but he Play couldn't keep it in. Play the ball, Roosters. Again, that, that's just a reflection of the effort that Freddie was talking about earlier. They're, they're desperate, even still at 24 nil. 22 minutes remaining, they're desperate. Salmon here, fighting to the last inch, trying to retrieve the football for his team. Yeah, remember, the Panthers have also been under a bit of pressure with their attack. Since the 10th minute of Magic Round against the Warriors, their scoreline is 42-0 for the Panthers. That's over two hours of footy. It's pretty good. Yeah, still a bit of time to go in this match too, Freddie. But it's a reflection of their work that they, they put into their preparation. The way they're playing is it's quite similar to Billy, Billy Smith, Smith goes away. Smith through, Tedesco dragged down. Wonderful try saving defence again. Yeah, it's shades of their last couple of years, isn't it? The Penrith Panthers. They just quietly go about their business and all of a sudden they put 24 points on you, but Taruba accelerates, he's wrapped up just. Well, anytime the ball has been in space, there's been a Panther jersey on it. Whether it's on the ground, near a sideline, a wayward pass. Other than that time, right there. <laughs> <laughs> got him. You got him. Oh. 
Baker. I haven't seen him until now. Here's Lodge. He's tried to offload more often than that. Ah, it's and he gets a raspberry from the fans. Chop up on. That's what you get when you shape up to Isaiah Yo. That's it. He's been in the middle of all confrontations. Started with Liam Martin early. He tried to take on the golden boy, Isaiah Yo. He's going to get no love from this crowd. Stories of Origin, Season 2. Plenty of people downloading this. Number one sports podcast in the country. Some great uh, stories focusing on memorable origin performances this series. We've had the first couple of episodes of the series released so far. Brad Fittler and Billy Slater, the most recent one in uh, Monday coming episode three, featuring Darren Lockyer and Andrew Johns, all about the 1998 series. Might be the two best origin teams ever assembled in the series. Yo! Within 30 of the Roosters line now. Nathan Cleary tries to draw the defence in. Oh, Baker misses Crichton, but there's help there. In the shape of Butcher. And Collins back on the ground and Tupanua there also. Cleary under pressure from Smith. That's a good kick. It was a pinpoint kick. Luai throws it over the top. It's still the last tackle, actually. Kick it, Yoey. <laughs> there it is, Isaiah Yo. Oh, it's, no. No. it's a great kick. Uh, it's picked on. up by Tom. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Oh. Hey, yo, has put on a try with his right boot. Oh, wow. Wow. He didn't want to do it. No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't want to do it. He was looking for any other play than the kick. He has a little laugh there as he celebrates with his wing of Ryan Tohol. Harvey Norman replay. Cleary, well, he was the one that got the first kick away. Sorensen went down, good bat back. Luai, who's been on fire tonight. James Fisher-Harris, he said, I don't want it. Yoey, you do something. And then Yoey, he put some sort of drop punt off the right foot across to Brian Tohol. And he had that much time in the end, he just slid over and put it down nice. And look at that, what the... Sometimes friend. they're that bad, but they're, they're good. good. <laughs> oh. oh, that is a great reaction. Goes over and puts his hand in the toilet. There'll be a gold watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a 50th NRL try for Brian Tottenham. And I reckon I'm pretty safe. In guessing that's the first time Isaiah Yo's put on a try with a right foot kick. Not me, not me. It couldn't have been any better. Oh dear. Some great football played tonight by the Panthers. What a special night it is, of course. 2003 Premiership winning football side here. Watching on the current players. They'll certainly be proud of their efforts tonight. I reckon you want to kick this. There's a bit of a joke around. Because Isaiah's kicked, but it's his co-captain. He's come up with a pretty big play. He'll want to ice this. They are crammed in here. They are getting a real display. Oh, yeah! And from Nathan Cleary's right boot, 30 nil. Five tries to the Panthers. How many more to come? 17 and a half minutes left. Here the Roosters, they Moses. Must be close to nearly out. Top, another 
great bullocking run. Danica, it is a great side out here when the locals turn up in force. They have done that again. What's the crowd figure? Oh, they are absolutely loving what they're seeing here tonight. 20,255 in attendance tonight. So very close to a packed out house and they're loving every single moment of this Penrith Panthers dominance. Early ball for Smith. That's a try saving effort. A hand from Brian Toto intervening. Well, they've got Brian Toto come in a couple of times. That time he got a hand to the ball. They did catch him out in the first half. He's done a pretty good job, Billy Smith. Bradley out for James Tedesco. Now Swahili. He beat Peachy, he's pulled out a metre out. Now Baker might be headed to the Broncos if the male during the week is right. Smith, Radley and Keary. And here's uh, Billy Smith with a backhanded pass. It was a lovely ball and Corey Allen's got a try in the corner. There you go. Just speaking about how Billy Smith was getting Brian Tyre interested. Once again, he gets an early ball, a little bit of space, gets on the outside on the Harvey Norman replay, goes out the back. Here he gives him a bit of time. He beats Crichton on the outside, gets Tyre interested. This will look great from this angle. A little bit of early ball. Not much room, but just enough. Just gets on the outside, gets the fend. A little left hand flick to Corey Allen. It's about the third time he's got Brian Tyo. JT sideline. Yeah, well, this is a side they've looked most likely. Uh, Billy Smith's side. He's probably been the Roosters' best all night in a well-beaten side. So I just think the halves need to dig in the line a little bit more. Luke Carey, when he's got the ball, dig in the line, try and stop the Panthers' defence from sliding across and dominating the Roosters' outside backs. That's as good a set players that they've showed us all night, the Roosters to their left-hand side. Chris passing, good timing of their runners. Everyone into the right holes, into the right spaces. Now, Joseph Swale, he hasn't missed a goal in the NRL. This one no. is out to the left. One off. Just an update on Joey Manu. I've just spoken to the Roosters doctor and uh, she did say that he has damaged the ligaments in his ankle when it rolled laterally, but he will have to be sent for scans just to see the exact uh, damage that he has done. But obviously, we'll not be back tonight. All right. Uh, thanks, Danica. The other um, point we've had is that Sam Walker's injured at the moment. To his next cab off the ring. I'll be pretty. Negative. There's your man. Oh, Drew Hutchison, of course. Yes, Origin 1. It's a crept up. Well, we're right on the cusp. A couple of the chief protagonists with me in the commentary box, boys. Adelaide, game one. 
Great time of year. Yeah, it is. Shaping up as a beauty, too. And you can just you can see by the, the performances of a few of the key players, the big players in our game. A couple of tonight's matches, of course. Cleary and Luai in particular. Just starting to hit their straps, Tomo. Got it so careful. Having a look through the forwards that the Queenslanders have got available. Goodness me, you've got it back. You have to leave some of them out somehow. That's yeah. Well, still another week of footy to be played before selection, but you know, some of the big boys in the middle for the Queensland team, they're, they're playing well. Good headache for Billy and the selectors. Balls on the ground. Shirley, he cleans it up. Should I ask? Yeah, he'd, be less, <laughs> he'd be less likely to tell Here we you. Go. Polo down the sideline. Tedesco's there, he wants a kick. It bounces off a Panther and over the sideline. Penrith ball. Play the ball. Play the ball, Penrith. And it wasn't played out. Yep. Yeah, he's, he's able to run right to it. Inside. Inside. I believe he is, him, mate. Bradley goes Play down to Keary. Gets the ball across the, the front ball. of Jerome Luai. There weren't many options. Teddy was up on the inside, and there was plenty of space. He could just get the ball inside to James Tedesco. And once again, have a look at the Penrith jerseys in that picture. And Dylan Edwards, he, he gets a lot of rap, raps for his work with the football, his high involvement, high carries. But on that occasion, you've seen him back away from Jackson Bowler just to give his, his defensive players a chance to get back and help. Really smart play. For that. Here's Moses Leona. He's back for more. There's a few of the happy Moses is back. <laughs> oh, here we go. He'll get a first tackle running. There's your 10. That's five tackles for that butcher. Bradley, 48. Plenty of work for Angus Crichton. Hasn't taken him long to, to find. It's tempo of NRL football after a long time sideline. James Fisher Harris. Sonny Luke, the acting half. Clear underneath, and here's Moses Leota. Taken by Brandon Smith. Cleary and Yo changing direction. Trying to find a bit of space behind the markers. But Smith with back-to-back -back tackles. Luke to Fisher Harris and then to Luai and then Peachy and Taruna! Slick work! Well that was brilliant. What a set of six. They went front rower, front rower, lock forward, just broke down their middle. The Roosters' defence had to squeeze in. And just his slick play down the left-hand side. Harris gets his second touch on the Harvey Norman replay for the set. And it's just a case of really slick hands. Peaches had an absolute blinder of a game down the left-hand side with Jerome tonight. It's too fast, moving too fast. No, they're being classy tonight, Penrith. Those two men are pitcher peach as well fantastic heavily involved if there was any doubt over who was going to wear the number six for the the sky blue in a couple of weeks i think they've been answered tonight freddie <laughs> he's a queensland coach he's good <laughs> come on mate he's been outstanding come on he had a great game to borrow a quote from another famous Queenslander, that'll do me. <laughs> Does that Queenslander have red hair? <laughs> Coming up uh, on Chemist Warehouse Sunday footy, by the way. A big game, Manly Granulla. We're on air from 3 o'clock for that. Really important match, that one. Nathan from the other touch line. You got any thoughts on the Queensland fullback spot? Do you, any input from you? <laughs> mm. 
How's Lockie looking? <laughs> Can we get Lockie some boots? <laughs> get him out of that Kia. Oh, yes. Sunday footy thanks to Chemist Warehouse. What a clash. The Seagulls and the Sharks over at Four Pines Brookvale. We're on air from three. Don't miss a second of this. Can, the, can Manly bash their way back into the comp or can Cronulla correct things after a really disappointing, to say the least, performance against the Dolphins in Magic Round. Sunday footy, live and free here on nine. Oh, Moses. And the ball over the top. Oh. Typical work for Ed Woods. Freddie, I'll, I'll ask you, the Panthers have been outstanding tonight, of course, but was there ever a time in your career where you went through a period like the Roosters are going through right now where you just you didn't know the answer to, to how to fix the problem? Yeah, 2001. Come off a big year in 2000 and got to the grand final. We've been to the semis a few years and then whatever it was, just couldn't find couldn't find that reason. We didn't know what was going wrong. We ended up making the semis, sneaking into the semis, but just never got to a level that we were the year before. And it just took time, you know. You just got to keep turning up. You, know, you got to learn lessons. And then the year after, we went on, we went on to a three-year roll. We made grand finals the following three years. Here's a Nathan spot. Oh, it might have knocked him out. Then it's a rumor in the melon. It dived rapidly, that spiral kick. It almost started going backwards. Look at his face. He's very lovely. Oh. Oh. Falcon. Let's play on. That's how he broke at his nose. It's only fair after that effort. I went out to training a couple of years ago when Taruva was coming through the grades. He was the most liked to oh. at training. He was the loudest, he was laughing, he was into everything. And you could just tell he had, he had this energy, energy about him. But I remember looking at him going, like his size thinking, where, where's he going to play? Yeah, doesn't hit his hand. Heads in at the They back. break the mould, the Panthers. You have a look at their wingers. Shot clock off. They haven't got much size about him. You look at nearly every other team in the competition got six foot five wingers. Cleary to Luai. Steps inside Akiri. Beats Ubunua. Cut off by Radley and Crichton. Release now. Hold. Let's go, James. Cool it. Tackle one. Now Big Moses. Rushes into Lindsay Collins. Five metres out, and they send the fans home with another try here. Nathan Cleary, short ball, Sorensen, hunting for a third. Another notch on the butcher tackle count. He's up near 60. Now Sonny Luke. Cleary can't get it through, bounces back. Six more tackles. The Edwards shows it to Martin, goes away to Stephen Crichton. No panic. There's a whole set of six to play with here. Five minutes to go in the game. The Panthers back somewhere near their best, you'd say, tonight. Clear it to Luai. Here it is now. Sorensen! He nearly gets a third. He got cut off in a great try saver. Luai! He got it over. He gets the try. Well, if anyone's earned a try tonight, it's that man. Jerome Luai, he's been in absolutely everything tonight. Poor old Scott Sorensen could see a hat trick. It was there, the line was there in front of him on the Harvey Norman replay. Once again, just look at the movement, the people in motion, the timing, the concentration. Sorensen three, 
flicks it out of the bank. As soon as it came out of the bank, you knew Jerome was going to score. What a great try. Thoroughly deserved. And a lot of the a lot of the points that the Pandas have scored tonight, it, it's all been through team effort. Not a whole lot of individual brilliance, but it's fan, another fantastic try there. JT. Yes, yeah, great work by Nathan Cleary when he hits the ball. He has two runners come underneath him, and then he turns the corner and faces straight down the field. And he has a great runner in the big front row there, which keeps the inside shoulder of Nat Butcher. So Nathan Cleary, all class, directing the traffic there. Yeah, they've just played roles, haven't they? Just they fulfilled their role on each play, particularly in attacking positions, which is a given space and time on the outside for the key men. Great football to watch. So Cleary converts 42 to 4. Panthers' biggest ever win over the Roosters is a 42 point margin, actually. Next week, one of the most celebrated rounds on the Rugby League calendar, Indigenous Round, right here on Nine. Thursday, we kick it off with the Broncos against the Panthers. Then Friday night, the Bunnies take on the Eels at Allianz. And Sunday, the Raiders and the Seagulls from Canberra. Don't miss it live and free right here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Broncos, Panthers, bring that one on. Yeah, that's going to be a huge clash, that one time. Thursday night, Brisbane. It'll be a big crowd. What you're reading on the Panthers, Cam, they've... Clearly they've had some disruption, but look, they're, they're, they're right in this for a third in a row, aren't they? Well, absolutely. Uh, I, this is by far the best performance that they've had all season. I think they've taken a little bit of time to iron out a few creases in their game plan. They're still adjusting to a couple of big name players that have moved on. Kick out, Coruscant, of course. But tonight, the game plan that they've put together is so good. Sonny Luke. Oh, oh, oh kicks no. it behind and spilt. It's a oh. try. The Peach has got another one. Oh. Well, oh, Freddie touched on Jerome Luai, a deserved try scorer in the last instance. But that man there, I'll tell you what, he's had a game and a half. Here it is, Harvey Norman replay. Sonny Luke, he just takes off and puts one on the toe. He's seen some space in behind Jackson Polo. He had a couple of goes at it. One, two, three. And the peach, he was there to clean up the scraps. Jonathan. Yeah, the Roosters have been disjointed on both sides of the ball tonight. And this is a perfect example. Both markers going both ways, which is a sin at this level. So Brandon Smith and Nat Butcher are at marker. And they both go towards the left. And Sonny Luke sees that straight away and ducks out to his left. So they're not going great, the Roosters. As we can see here, both markers go left. Sonny Luke, too good, got him. So that just goes to show where the Sydney Roosters are out at, at the moment. It's not a very good performance by their standards. So this is a kick for Penrith's biggest ever win over the Roosters. He was never going to miss. Yeah. Oh, 44 points to march. Well, can they bring up a half century? There's time. They've scored eight tries. Oh, Tyrone Peach, you'd be wondering why he's ever left the Panthers. He is reinvented. He's playing some wonderful footy. Oh, yeah. I think it might be back for long. Stick around, Friday night, golden point after the match. Sliding. Danica, she'll be all over the injuries from tonight. Someone's going inside the winning sheds as well. And Leona still charging back. 
Has he worn them down yet? And now James Fisher Harris. Double for Sorensen, first of his career. Now, Lindsay Smith starting to thrive in the NRL environment with more games under his belt. Tackle number four. Played by Sonny Luke. Clear he's going to run here to Crichton. To top off, oh, kick back over the top. It's not a bad one. Oh, well clean. It's Lindsay Collins. Oh, oh, Gee, that's a great mop up work for the big man. And now Butcher, well, the Panthers are, uh, are up and about. I don't know what you say about the Roosters. They've got wins over South and Parramatta so far this year, but they are a shadow of the team many people were forecasting. And injury problems too now. They, they've got to get mobile. But making the top eight's one thing, Cam. If you're going to win the comp, you've got to finish in the top four. Well, history suggests that, doesn't it, Tomo? You've got to finish up in the first four teams. Such a congested table at the moment, though, this competition this year. Tedesco with a big effort. Smith deserves a try and gets one on the back of his captain's never-say-die effort. Well, maybe okay. not just yet. Yeah. The referee's going to check we this one. We back to tackle zero, but we have no try. Looking at Billy Smith offside on the kick chase wow. and within 10 metres of the contest. Well, if he's... Look at the screen there, Billy Smith. He's at the point of the kick. Eight meters off offside. Now, Billy Smith and Corey Allen are offside. To be honest, they don't play any part at all in this contest. At the point of the contest, contest Billy Smith is inside 10 meters. He's required for the board and now travel 10 before getting involved. He becomes active in the play. We have a decision. Yeah, well, he's slightly inside the 10 metres. I don't think he had much to do with that contest between Tedesco and Edwards. Well, that's a no try. Brandon Smith coming from the field. Well, we know he's a master coach, Trent Robinson. He's got a job on his hands here. Such a good team, always contending, perennial uh, presence inside the top. <laughs> One of the Panthers fans has thrown the ball at the back of Drew Hutchison's head. That's not a savoury way to end the game. So the siren sounds and the Panthers are all smiles. It's a big night for the club celebrating the Premiership success of 2003 with that victory over the Roosters in the grand final 20 years yeah, ago. Yeah, and this modern day Panthers outfit. They've got their sights set on a third. Panthers 48, Roosters 4 in Friday Night Footy.